In this video, we will state and prove the supporting hyperplane theorem. Consider a convex set C in Rn and a point x on the boundary of C. Then there exists a hyperplane H that goes through x and such that C is entirely inside one of the closed half space constructed by H. Equivalently, the hyperplane can be described by a normal vector H and a real number B. To say that B goes through X means that H transpose X is equal to B. And to say that C is on one side means that H transpose Y is smaller or equal to B for all Y in C. Let's prove the theorem. The key idea is that if X is on the boundary, then it is possible to find a sequence Xn outside of C such that the limit of Xn is equal to X. And because the Xn are outside of C, it will be possible to separate them from the convex set C using the projection theorem. Let's formalize this intuition. For any Xn, we call Yn the projection of Xn to the closure of C. And we define An, the unit vector from Yn to Xn, i.e. Hn is going to be Xn minus Yn divided by Xn minus Yn. The properties of the projection on a convex set tells us that Hn nicely separates the convex set C from Xn, i.e. Hn transpose Y is smaller or equal to Hn transpose Yn, which is strictly less than Hn transpose Xn. Now, the Hn have norm 1, which means that it belongs to the n-sphere, which is a compact space. This sequence thus has an adherence value h. Taking the previous inequality for a specific subsequence that corresponds to this adherence value yields h transpose y at most h transpose x, which corresponds exactly to saying that h is a normal vector of a supporting hyperplane qet.